When you're looking around at investing in a good fishing rod, there's a lot of things to take into mind. Do you go for a straight off the shelf one, or do you opt for something a little bit better and have it custom built? Well, here's a couple of things that might help you along the way. This particular blank that we're using here, it's six foot 10. Usually as a general rule, around about that seven foot is a good all round purpose rod. The longer the rod, the further you cast, the shorter, the more accurate. So just work out where you're gonna fish and what style of fishing you're gonna do. But this one here is six foot 10. It's one of Gary Loomis's new North Fork rods. It's a very, very high modulus rod. That means the graphite in it is very, very light and very, very strong and a high grade epoxy to bind those fibres together. Hence, it's nice and light so you can cast light lures all day. We've got a little bit of strength in the butt here and a nice tip action so you can cast either blades or lighter lures. Now, a good rod should be matched to a suitable size reel and braid or mono, whichever you're using, and the weight of the lure that you're casting. Now, ideally with light lures like this, you don't want to be leaning back and doing a great big cast like this. You try and get the rod to work for you. So this is why we've got the power in the butt and a nice light tip, so it doesn't take much just to load it up. You can see the tip does the work and just flick that out. Now, when it comes to working the lure, you can see I've got the new Fuji shape reel seat on it. So it just fits nice and comfortably in our hand there. We can just work it back. If you have a look at that very tip, you can see as I pull on it, you can see the vibrations. I can certainly feel the vibrations coming through it. Now the style of guide I've got on here, I've just put Fuji Alkanites on, but they're the new K-style guide, which are an anti-tangle guide. So if you're fishing particularly light lures or, or unweighted plastics, braid has a tendency to wind itself quite loosely on the line, on the reel, if you haven't got a reasonable weight there. And you can get wind knots which are the curse of every tournament angler because they get caught around predominantly your stripper or these couple of guides at the tip, tangle around then you've got a knot so you lose time. The idea of these guides is even if you get a loop of line, it's very hard for me to get that line to, to stay on there. The loops just peel off. This one here is made for one-handed casting. Again, bring that round, little tip there. Try and hold that, bring that in tight so you've got no loose loops there that can catch around the bail arm when you're casting. And again, we just simply flick back a little bit and load up the tip. So if I was casting at snags and I need to get a more accurate cast, generally point the rod tip where you want to cast. Nice and straight, then up and cast it out. If you find that your lure is going really high and then coming down, letting go too soon, if it's smashing into the ground in front of you, you're hanging on to it for too long. In the case I hook onto something big, that's, uh, which we always want to do, which is a lot bigger than the fish may be capable of landing, the worst thing you can do is what they call high sticking, and that's leaning right back like this on the rod. All that does is put a lot of load on the tip section, and in this particular case, which is quite a fast taper, the tip is meant for casting. So just keep the rod lower, at a 45 degree angle and use this mid-lower section in it which is a lot stronger and enable you to fight a much bigger fish than just the tip alone. Some people have different thoughts whether they want a full butt or a split butt. A split butt is predominantly two sections with a bit of blank in between, just keeps it a little bit lighter and sometimes it enables you to have that two-handed cast. Cork is lighter, it's a natural fibre, it's bark off a tree. I suppose a couple of the benefits of getting a rod custom built are you get to choose your own blank, decide what length you want it for the job that you're doing, and you can choose things like the type of guide. You can go for a base rate alkanite guide, or you can trick it right up and go for a titanium frame silicon. Also butt length, you can go for cork, EVA, split butt, full butt, and even the type of reel seat and all these little blingy bits. But what I find, fellas, is a good tip is it's like handbags and shoes. At least that's what you tell the missus. You can never have enough. She's got a cupboard full of them. You should have a garage full of them.